I'm going to explain why I'm so excited to teach you this. Uh, these techniques have been worked for the last two years. But the reason, what's amazing about that, I remember showing you, I have this student, he's a blue belt, skinny kid, and he been to meet everybody from my camp, from white to black belt. And these techniques is, uh, I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna show you some little things who are gonna make a big difference, some the details. And I'm gonna do the breakdown. I'm gonna start very simple and I'm gonna little by little complicate. Okay, when the three prime positions in grappling, this in Jiu Jitsu, is the back control. When you control the back, you try to do the chokes and stuff like that. The other one is the mount position and they cross the body, the side control. That's like we say, like the filet mignon, the ribeye. You know what I mean? That's the main target we're looking for in control positions. That's why the guy with the ball try to use the guard, you know what I mean? To don't let you get in these positions. That's the whole game in Brazil is to get in these positions. You know what I mean? And the positions I'm gonna focus today is the back. You know what I mean? They are going to start very simple, a lot of detailed explanations, and we're going to go to the drills, and the drill is going to get more complicated, more complicated. They're going to show you all the setups. And I, I remember, like, a, a, I call a friend, one of my students named Eric Paulson. I said, Eric Paulson, I want to go to your academy. Let me, I want to practice some of your guys, some of your best guys, this attack. It's like, man, in minutes, I was able to, less than minutes are able to complete submit the guys. But when you get these techniques, you guys are gonna be very excited because the guy who taught me these techniques was a guy named Higa Machado. It's not many people know. <laughs> it's like few people know this game. Some of my students are gonna be, you guys are gonna be the first one. You know what I mean? But when you submit somebody in some event, you say, oh, I want to say thanks to Vigo Machado. <laughs> uh, he taught me these techniques in, oh, over there in Oregon Academy. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to the simple, the number one attack from the back is the choke. And the no gi, the number one submission is this choke, the real naked choke. Okay? Okay, basically choke, you project your arm, Okay, to a point go deep enough, to a point your hands try almost to reach behind the shoulder. When you create that, you create a V. You see? This side, this side, you come here. This is, I like to this position to dream because you start learning how to manipulate your arms. Okay, look here, one, come over here. Now, two, the hands inside, and three, you go for the choke, right? That is the choke. That's simple, but the problem, when you try to do the choke, he knows the choke. Now, uh, when I, every time I come over here, do this straight bar, he's gonna hold. Hold, both hands, over here. They say, ah, boy, man. I go to the other side, he right there, boom. You see, so imagine like this, like a bar. Even in case I go this way, a lot of times I come here, he go for the second bar, he boom, 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 he go to my grip, he try to defend. That's the whole game. You understand? Now the, the, the check, the game, is almost like 50, 50, maybe he know the choke, it's gonna be 70, maybe 30. That's why sometimes you watch UFC, you see the guys get each other back, and they can finish. You know what I mean? They try to ground a pound, surprise him. You see, many times he get the guy because the guy has to knock out and he don't have the reflex to hold the bar. Imagine this like a bar. Every time I project here, he right there is going to defend here. A lot of real smart guy put the hands very close to the neck because every time I penetrate the hand, he's going to block here. You see? He's always, don't even let the arm come through. Okay, he's gonna block or hold the bar. That's his whole game. You know what I mean? Now it's a big problem. Because I get the back, I have two arms, he has two arms. You know what I mean? And he's not, he's he gonna 
fight for his life to protect his neck. You know what I mean? Now, before I show you anything, the three ways you can submit a guy is three. When you come over here, hands put the heads over here and use one hand only to try choking him. This one. The second one is the gable grip. Come over here and do the, the same thing. And the best one the, is like here, the lock over here. Okay? We're gonna start warm up like this and practice the three ways you doing the grab according to the position, you're gonna finish. One, is project the arm, be sure the hands reach behind the shoulder. Now hands over here, use the head here and choke. One. Second, the hands come under, gable grip, two. And the best one, project the arm, three. Okay? Let's get your point. Just go, don't squeeze too much your friend's neck because you're gonna spend so much time doing these techniques. I want to be sure you guys don't hurt each other.